Jason, as I mentioned earlier, we only have a very brief meeting this evening. Only two cases appear on, on the docket for this tonight. Most of those Lamb County cases. Matt, I know you've been a little bit out, but we appreciate you being here with us tonight. Just wait until next time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. A bit of encouragement, Matt. Yeah. You said, man. Yeah. But, Jason, we'll go ahead and let you get started. Our first case this evening is REZ 2016 10, Freedom Heights. Yes, sir. Thank you. Located off the Bemis Road, the corner of Ashurst, Bemis, Studsville, and Dinky Road. Ultimately, what is being requested is to change the zoning of the subject property from highway commercial C8 zoning to plan development for multifamily development. Multifamily complex is slated for 96 units. And with that, to me, the staff updates you have before you, um, you'll denote the TRC recommendation, which was for approval, the update to the site plan, um, which really changed the layout and also the response to the planning commissioner's concerns from the work session last Monday. Uh, the developers tried to go into detail on the notes that we took from the work session, and ultimately you have a physical copy, um, and I just will try to answer any questions you might have, but the developers are here tonight, uh, should you have something that we won't be able to address. Commissioners, do we have any questions this evening for staff regarding this request? Yes, I, I just have one brief one towards you, and I noticed that uh, you did receive the approval from, from the necessary department. And I'm just curious, I know that we have another uh, apartment complex going in maybe a quarter mile down the road to the right? Yes, sir. There was, is there any thought pattern concerning traffic congestion going forward at this at this location? I know right across the street, is there going to be a shopping plaza across the street? Yes, sir. If you look on the aerial, what you're talking about is a commercial complex that is kind of to the southeast of the subject property. That's correct. Um, at this point, the county engineer has not identified any improvements. One advantage this development has is it has access <coughs> on the north, the south, and along Bemis. However, before they go through and clear their final permitting, the state will have to certify that those ingress, egress um, exits will be sufficient. The only thing that the county engineer has felt necessary to lift up is probably a deceleration lane uh, for the subject property. But because all the traffic is mainly focused along that Bemis corridor, then that will be up to the state whether or not they have to require that. And that will be done before the engineer approves his set of plans if the state will have to approve their, um, their site plan and their plans. Where, where, where is there a cut located on Bemis Road somewhere, Jason? Um, yes, sir. If you look on the site plan they gave us, you can see where um, there's a curb cut at Dinky Run. I have to look and see if there's one on Ashers, but definitely along Dinky Run there is a, a curb cut allowing for a cross access there. Okay. Yes, sir. There's one along Ashers as well, sir. So they have you know the opportunity to make a left turn on Dinky as well as Ashers, whereas the one along Bemis, I don't anticipate them constructing a new um, curb cut. They'll probably just do a right in and right out on that. Any other questions for staff regarding this request? There be none. Anyone here this evening wishing to speak in favor of this request, please come forward at this time. State your name and your address for the record. Uh, my name is Steve Brooks. I live at 6048 Johnson Road, Northwest, AIR, Georgia. Uh, I work with Integrity Development Partners. We are the applicant for uh, this proposed multifamily property. Uh, I'm just here to answer any questions if you have any income community. Uh, we feel it's a vital need out on Venus Road. There is no true multifamily uh, apartments towards the Moody Air Force Base out there once you get past uh, North Oak Street Extension. Uh, I resided at Moody Air Force Base many years ago and some quality housing out that way uh, outside the single family realm uh, I think it's best to need a side system to be Now I'd be glad to answer any questions if you have any. Any questions from the presenter? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Hall? The tree buffer 
And you're going to leave as much of that intact? Yes, sir. And we've had, uh, we've gone out and had some of our uh, surveyors look at the existing trees and try and do a survey of, you know, there is some nice specimens that we believe will be uh, able to be retained. Uh, it's always dangerous when you're constructing uh, new construction around trees. You know, good intention, and sometimes the roots get spoiled, but we have, uh, we've really modified our site plan to pull everything away from there as we could. We're yeah. also trying to stay within uh, 230, away from 230 feet of the center line of Bemis for noise concerns. So we moved our one non-residential building across that line mm -hmm. and kept the residential buildings back to keep the noise levels up the Bemis Highway. I appreciate your willingness to change the site plan from the last one also yes. to, uh, to, to make it a little more conducive to the neighborhood. As we all know, development is a process, and it's a, you know, it's a give and take, and, and you want everybody has to get out of here. I'll ask you a great question you want Steve and Stubbs family there. If you had any, just curious, any, any phone calls concerning the development of three-story application on these buildings? I've had two, um, I'll call them internal comments from people who live or are near the area that we might have some opposition, but I haven't had any phone calls even to really just check in on the case. Um, so I have nothing to report as far as um, neighborhood interaction or neighborhood um, communication. I will just make a comment that just if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Some of the existing specimen trees out there along where the building is going to be located back on Sudsville are actually almost as tall as the three-story building. And the good news is all those residences are facing frontwards. They're towards you're looking at their driveway and their garage instead of like peeking into their back. Yeah, in their backyard, which they, they don't seem to have any presumption of privacy in their front yard, but I respect them. You know, they're trying to keep it out of their backyard. Mr. Brent, I just want, uh, do, you, do you have, do you have your rent, a rendering done yet? Just curious. We, what I have, we do not have a rendering yet. Um, what I have is a representative picture. Um, this is actually uh, a property here in town, five point, the residence is five points that I developed mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, oh, yeah. in 2010. Um, we are going to have a very similar facade to this, not, we haven't finalized the design, but we're going to have at least 40% or more brick or stone uh, using vertical elements up and down the building with a mix of hardy uh, cement siding. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a very good product here locally. It's three stories that you can all drive out and take a look at. So it's a very yeah. similar to this. Very nice. I like the mix on that. You like it so much? Mm -hmm. Looks good. I can assure you um, we, we, we try to make our products look very well. And that's I, good. I hope uh, I provide Jason some other photos before of other products we've done. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you all got a chance to see. It. Good deal. Any other questions from Brazil? I just want to just a comment. I'm actually echoing Commissioner Hall. I, I do appreciate the applicant's responsiveness and taking our comments from the work session and incorporating them into the plan. So thank you for doing that. And we did see the the, the PowerPoint presentations you sent us that we put in your other projects. So. So thank you for doing that. And I will comment, we are going to go through a green building program um, out of South Face in Atlanta called Earthcraft <laughs> Communities. Part of that process, we'll be doing some design charrettes for the full architectural set of plans, and we'll be inviting local uh, community involvement into those, and, as well as uh, planning department participation so when we go to our architectural planning. So we'll be glad to hear more comments. Good deal. Appreciate you, sir. Any, any, any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Brooks. Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? Anyone else here wishing to speak in favor of this request? There being none, <coughs> is anyone here wishing to speak against this request? Anyone here wishing to speak against the request? There being none, Commissioners, do we have any further discussion on this request before I ask for a motion? There being none, I will take a motion on this request at this time. Move to recommend approval of the request of the Lowndes County Commission. Second. We have Commissioner Folsom with a motion to approve. We have the second Commissioner Ball. All in favor, seek by the raise your right hand. Ms. Cormell, that passes unanimous 7-0. Thank you, ma'am.